The General Rafael Urdaneta Bridge is eight and seven kilometers long. What is the length of this bridge in meters? Welcome to Mr. Sanchez and his math. Today we're gonna to be talking about the TIC 5.7a, solve problems by calculating conversion using the metric system. Okay, this is the lesson one out of two for this TIC. So whenever we're talking about the metric system, we're just gonna be moving places, okay? So I'm gonna be talking about this a little bit fast so we can move on with the exercise. Whenever we are multiplying, I know that every number multiplied by 10, 100, and 1,000, I just have to add the zeros, right? 5 times 10, 50, 5 times 100, 500, and so on. For example, if I have, for example, 7 times 10, it's gonna be equal to, yes, 7. If I have, for example, 70 times 10, I'm gonna repeat the same 70, and I'm gonna add another zero. What will happen whenever I have decimal seven and three? That means that I'm gonna move my decimal to the right, so that one becomes 73. In this case, how many places am I gonna move the decimal place? Well, I'm gonna move it two places, so that will become 735 and 610. Now in division, it's completely the opposite. I'm gonna move to the left. So in this case, as you can see, now my numbers are going in decreasing, they're gonna decrease. Five divided by 10 is equal to 510, five divided by 100 is equal to 500, and so on. So for example, six divided by 10 is equal to decimal six. That means 610. 600 divided by 10, I'm gonna move the decimal one place to the left. It's gonna be now 60. 697 divided by 10, I'm gonna move my decimal place to the left. It's gonna be 69 and 710. And now 697 divided by 1,000, that means that it will give me 697 thousands. Now, whenever we're using this type of exercise, we have to use our reference check. Today, we're focusing on the metric portion. So it's this portion over here, all right? So this is how it looks like. Remember that whenever we're talking about multiplication, this is when you have to convert larger units to small units, right? So in this case, let's suppose that we want to convert four centimeters to millimeters. In this case, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to say, okay, one times something is equal to 10 millimeters. So I'm going to go to my reference chart, okay, times 10. One times 10, that means if I put four centimeters, four centimeters times 10 is equal to 40 millimeters. That's it, guys, as easy as that. And now whenever we're doing division, is whenever you're converting smaller units to larger units. So in this case, you want to convert 6,000 grams into kilograms, right? So we're gonna create an input output table and I'm gonna go to my reference chart that is telling me here that one kilogram is exactly the same as 1,000 grams. So I'm gonna start with my grams on the left side and I'm gonna divide 1,000 divided by the number that I have there in the circle that is 1,000 is gonna give me equal to one kilogram. So in this case, I'm gonna put the 6,000 grams here divided by 1,000 and it will give me six kilograms, all right? Now, let's show time. The General Rafael Urtaneta Bridge is eight and seven kilometers long. What is the length of this bridge in meters? So let's put this little thing over here to work on it. So I wanna make eight and seven kilometers into meters. I'm gonna use my reference chart. Where is this relationship? Yes, it's here. I am going from greater to least. So that means that I am multiplying. Whenever I create my input output table, I am gonna write down my relationship. One kilometer is equal to a thousand, me a thousand meters, I'm sorry. So that means that that kilometer I have to multiply by a thousand. So eight and seven kilometers, I have a decimal. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna move my decimal three spaces because I am multiplying by a thousand. That means that my answer will be 8,700 meters. With that being said, now you know how to calculate conversion within a metric system. Thank you very much. This was Mr. Sanchez and his math. Today we were talking about the TIC 5.7a, solving problems by calculating conversions, specifically using the metric system. This was the lesson one out of two. Um, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook to continue following up all the rest of the videos that I'm doing, right? Before you leave, remember to take some notes. Have a good one, guys.